Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play. My name is Sudox, but you guys can call me Steven, and let's hop right into the episode. All right, guys, there's been a couple of changes in my world. I've actually worked a little bit off camera. Uh, first things first, uh, you guys came up with the idea of Puffer Posse as being our uh, community name. So this new base is actually going to be officially the Puffer Posse Outpost. Um, I've actually gone ahead and done quite a bit of fishing off camera. And I want you guys to see that I actually have a, quite a few goodies. I'm excited about the Trident. Um, but I have a Luck of the Sea 3, Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, Mending 1 fishing rod. If I'm not mistaken, that's actually the best fishing rod you can get in the game. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have quite a few enchanted books. Um, kind of finny in there. I'm excited about that. I think, yep, I got a Mending 1 bow. So I can go and work on that a little bit. Quite a few saddles, name tags. A uh, bunch of goodies. And uh, I know we were talking about building a pier. We're actually going to do that in this episode. So this right here is going to be the future site of our fishing pier. It's going to go out in this direction. We had a slight accident over here. Apparently there's an underwater cave and uh, the sheep actually ate some grass and it collapsed all the sand. So ignore that. I'll have to fix that at some point. And um, our base actually has a little bit of an upgrade at the moment. I went ahead and made it look a little bit prettier. So I have our bed here. Uh, we have our puffer fish. And if you come over this way, I actually went ahead and built a bunch of smokers, some blast furnaces. I've got some lava lighting back there. I've got some chest organization going on over here. I've got all of our little goodies down here. So I've got quite a few diamonds actually at the moment. So plenty of iron. A little crafting setup, crafting table. We have a stone cutter. Got a bunch of tables. I actually don't know how to use like I have a fletching table and I believe that's a blacksmith table. I have a loom and I have a cartography table and our anvil, of course. And if you actually come back this way behind the uh, the ladder, I have my uh, strip mine, which I haven't really done too much with it yet, but I actually did connect um, the strip mine to two uh, spawners that I found. So over in this direction, we actually have a spider spawner, which I do not believe I actually showed you guys. This was found off camera. So I'm gonna, just gonna quickly go in here and steal all the goodies because I believe I left the goodies in here, uh, which I did. Respiration 2, Fire Aspect 1, Silk Touch 1. So, nothing too interesting. Uh, so, Spider Spawner here. Maybe I'll light this up a little bit better in the corner. And then actually out in this direction I have the Zombie Spawner. Which really isn't that far either. It's maybe 150 blocks this direction. So at some point in the future I'm actually have to automate the uh, Zombie Spawner as well as the Spider Spawner. Alright, so here's the Zombie Spawner that we found in the first episode. Uh, we actually already got all the contents from the chest. So let's head back home and actually I'm going to show you guys a to-do list I actually went ahead and I built. Alright guys, so this is our to-do list. And uh, currently I just thought we'd want to build a tree farm, get a crop farm going, get some animals, uh, make a zombie XP farmer, um, maybe upgrade our base some more, do the fishing here, and also I want to find a village so we can get some villagers. Alright, so I'm going to go and put that back away. And actually before I continue I want to talk to you guys about something rather serious. Which is that we hit 100 subscribers today, which is really, really cool. I've messed around with YouTube a couple of times over the years on different channels, all things that I've deleted so you guys can't find it unfortunately anymore. Um, but I've never hit 100 subscribers before. I don't think I've ever hit like 25. So honestly this is pretty crazy. Thank you to each and every one of you for going ahead and subscribing and giving, giving me your time. I am uh, very excited for the future and I hope you guys are too. So let's go ahead and let's do our best to get to 1000 as soon as possible now. Oh and also if you guys are wondering what this is over here. I just have a chest here. I actually want to get all the wood types eventually. So currently I have three um, three sapling types. And I have uh, three wood types, but I can easily get that fourth wood type. Uh, so I believe we are actually going to be missing the spruce log, and we're also missing the dark oak. So at some point I'm actually going to have to try to find those. So I think for right now I'm actually probably just going to start up a tree farm with just the oak saplings, because I want to get some oak wood so I can go and actually make the, uh, the pier. Oh gosh, we have some illagers coming in. Gonna probably try to get a better weapon. I don't think I have anything on me at the moment. Uh, and there's actually a good chance we could get pretty hurt if I'm not careful. Let me go ahead and try to eat a little bit. Maybe I'll drop one down at a time. Hello? Hello? Where'd they go? There's one. So we can take one on at a time. Well, darn. I am now I'm just going to have to probably suicide a bunch of times until I actually get them. Okay, 
I think that might have been the mall. Was that all? I think it was. Okay, let's quickly get our things. Uh, we probably lost a lot of XP. In fact, I'm sure we did. Level 8, is that all that we had? I think I was up to like level 25, mostly from fishing. So that stinks, but oh well, it'll have to do. On the bright side, we actually did get a crossbow and we did get the Illager banner, so that's kind of cool. have to make some use out of that at some point. Should probably keep that bow and arrow. And this is going to be the start of our tree farm. I'm going to pretty it up at some point, make it look more like it's meant to be here. I just threw down the saplings at the moment, but eventually I'll have it looking, I guess, cleaner. But I'm thinking on doing like a uh, two wide by 12, two by 12, I guess, rectangle for the oak wood. And I guess all like the normal wood types, the uh, two by two uh, trees all make different. All right, guys, well, we went ahead and we collected quite a bit of wood. I'm going to grab these couple saplings right over here. Uh, but let's actually go ahead and get started on the pier. I'm thinking about making the pier itself three blocks wide on the interior, uh, but five total for the actual edges. And right now we actually have to decide how far between uh, the pillars we want to go. I'm thinking maybe five or six blocks. I'm also thinking we can go ahead and we use oak slabs for the actual floor. All right, guys, so this is starting to get the, uh, the basic shape that I'm actually going for. Um, I'm not sure if I made this too skinny. I might want to make this a little bit wider. I'm not really sure. Um, it's not supposed to be too extravagant. It's just supposed to be some place for me to go and go fishing. And then I'm probably thinking about putting some hoppers up here with some chests to make it a little bit easier to catch my stuff. Um, but first things first, obviously this is not going to the ground. And if I was to make it go to the ground, it might look a little ridiculous. Uh, so I actually brought some gravel and I'm thinking maybe I go ahead and maybe I build little gravel uh, spires to make it actually look like I am perhaps, to make it look perhaps that these pieces of timber are actually embedded in the gravel go all the way down. So maybe something like, I'm thinking maybe something like that, but actually that looks kind of silly in itself. I'm actually going to need you guys to tell me what you think. Should I actually just bring this lumber straight down to the bottom? Would that look ridiculous, basically being little like spider legs going all the way down? Should I try to terraform and maybe bring some gravel up? Um, maybe smooth this out. Obviously that looks kind of silly, but maybe smooth this out a little bit. Not sure what to do with that. That looks funny, and this looks funny. We're going to have to figure that out maybe next episode. <laughs> so please, in the comments, let me know what you guys think about that. And I also want to go ahead and cap off these pieces of lumber, but I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and actually do it with like maybe stone, or maybe the wood. I think I'm leaning towards the stone just to have it broken up a little bit, not to have the textures match too well. Um, but again, in the comments, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to change it, I will. But for right now, I'm going to leave it the stone. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to call the design good for now. I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I want to do as far as with the um, the posts. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's actually get into the functionality. So like I said, I did want this actually be able to be a functioning um, piece and not just aesthetic. So I'm thinking we go ahead and we put some chests down here so we can open these up. And I have some hoppers here, which I'm actually going to go and run in just like that. And I believe I want to go ahead and do something like running these half slabs along the bottom to go and prevent items from actually going ahead and um, going over this way. So the items should go ahead and get pulled onto these hoppers and go into one of these chests. So I actually will need a couple trap doors for this next part, so let's go ahead and get a couple of those. All right, guys, I think something like this will actually have to do. I went ahead and lit this up a little bit, and I just made a real quick little access point down here to get to our chests. It's nothing that special, just a little platform that I can stand on. And um, I have access to the chest. I can give back up on top of the pier. Uh, so let's go. Let's see if this actually works. The goal is for it to not go into my inventory, but to go in there. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's see. Okay, that went into my inventory. Let's try again. All right, guys, it took me a lot of tweaking, but I actually did eventually get this correct. So come on down here where we have all the chests and the hoppers. Stand anywhere around here. Go ahead and aim out directly in front of you. And as soon as you go and you pull the line, it'll actually go ahead and go into that hopper. And most of them will go in the middle every once in a while if your aim's a little bit off. Let's say it's over there. It may go in that left hopper. You actually have to be very careful not to go ahead and not to uh, right-click on the hopper itself or that'll happen. Um, but it may go in that one. If I go off in that direction, it may go in this one. But this is just a nice way to go ahead and fish um, and not fill up your inventory immediately. So I'm actually satisfied with this for now. Um, you guys will have to help me uh, name this. You'll have to actually help me 
figure out what to do about these posts because I think they look silly at the moment. I should probably also find a better way to go ahead and do this because this looks a little silly as well. Maybe if I got rid of that bottom part. Who's hitting me? Oh, you're hitting me. Hello. Come here, Mr. Drowned. I can go ahead and help you get back to the surface. Maybe, if you'll let me. Okay. All right, so we're going to call that semi-complete for now. So I actually will go ahead and actually edit this on the to-do list. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that for now. Okay. Let's go put this away. I have to organize this. This is kind of all of a mess. Uh, but I think the last thing I want to do in this episode, just because this episode might be running a little bit long, I'm not really sure how long it's been running yet, I want to actually go ahead and get to the the nether, uh, just because we actually have the means to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get some um, get some obsidian off camera. And when you guys actually go ahead and return, we're going to be ready to hop in the nether. And we're not going to go exploring. We're just going to go and just check it out for two seconds. So let me go ahead and let me get some water in a bucket. And then we're actually going to go, and go ahead and harvest some obsidian. All right, guys. So I got enough obsidian for the actual nether portal. And I went ahead and got a couple other pieces to make an enchantment table later on. So let's light it up and let's go ahead and hop right in. Ben, we're going to spawn in a nice place. Ooh, this is a little weird. I I don't know if I like this. It's very wide open, which is nice. Uh, but that also means that we are exposed to ghasts pretty bad. Um, I was hoping we would go ahead and actually be able to see. I'll probably do. I'm actually probably going to go ahead and block this off so that a gas, first of all, doesn't explode it. Uh, but also so that we don't accidentally walk the wrong way and actually just <laughs> walk right out of our portal. Alright, I'm going to explore this way for just a second. Let me see if I can find another fortress, because I do want to desperately get nether warp pretty soon. And of course all the gas are going to go and actually attack me. I unfortunately don't see anything close by, so we probably will need to do some exploring. Uh, but also, my hunger bar is actually empty and I forgot to bring food. So let me go ahead and let me just get out of here before I get myself in any more trouble than I already am. And I should probably also build a little bit of a defense for my nether portal. I'm worried I'm going to actually get myself exploded. And I did. Wonderful. I think I went ahead and brought my flint and steel with me so we can actually head right home. Kind of zoned out there and I didn't realize I had that on me. I was a little bit worried. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll go back that way when we're a little bit better prepared. I'm not too worried about it right now. Let me go ahead and let me get some food. I think I accidentally left my food outside. It did, yes. Alright guys, well I think this is going to be it for this episode here. We went ahead and we built the pier. We got the basis of a tree farm started. We even went to the nether, and I think I've actually had this illager curse going on for probably 30 minutes at this point. I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm not holding the banner anymore. I probably need to either die or go ahead and actually drink some milk, so I'll have to figure that out at some point. Probably just going to kill myself. Um, but again, I really do just want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone that did, has subscribed and has watched my videos, you guys have made it all worth it. I would never have imagined I can get to 100 subscribers in just about a month at this point. I've had the channel for, I think, a few, like maybe two, three months now, but I've only been actually posting videos for about a month. So that's very, very cool. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, if you guys want to see pictures of my dog or other things like that, uh, please follow me on social media. My links are always in the description. And uh, next episode will be a little bit more exciting. I know we really didn't do too much in this episode. I kind of just didn't have much time to record, so I just want to get a couple things done. I would rather put something out close to the time I promised than wait a whole nother extra week. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I will see you guys later. Expect a new tutorial on Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll have another episode of the Let's Play coming out sometime on the weekend. So take care, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.